amazing view. Can you feel it? What am I supposed to feel? That I am hungry. I want some ice cream. Come on, let's go. I saw a man over there with a really long mustache that was blowing in the wind. It looked like a squirrel was trying to escape his face. <laughs> that is funny. So, are we ready for that ice cream now? Ah! Did you see the bird? Amazing. Yeah, amazing. I wish I could fly like that. Let's find someone who can teach us. Hold on tight. I'll find something to help you climb back up. Maybe a rope or a sturdy branch. Just hang in there. I don't want to lose you. I'll make my way back up. Don't worry. I'm lucky I caught this edge. It's just a matter of pulling myself up now. Hey, hey, come on, leave the window cleaner alone. <laughs> wow, that was a close call. Hello there, my bald-headed friend. What brings you here? You may be wondering what I'm doing in this place. Well, I have a fear of elevators and I'm trying to make my way down. Stay calm. And don't panic. Everything will be all right. Plus, I need to be home before dark, or I'll miss the ice cream truck. Stay calm and don't panic? I'm not hanging there. You stay calm and don't panic. All right, I'm going to look for something to help you. Just hang in there and remember to breathe. We'll get you up before you know it. You're a great friend. You know, if we ever form a superhero duo, you can be Captain Save the Day. Ha! And you'll be Commander Dangling in Danger. Maybe I can use my suit to make a long piece of rope. I think it's strong enough to help you climb up. I'll tie it to this sturdy railing and lower it down to you. Just be careful when you're doing that, okay? We can't have both of us in trouble. Plus, do you really want to take the bus home suitless? You'll be the talk of the town. I'll just find a bike and pedal home like the wind. Once you grab the suit rope, you'll be able to use it to help you pull yourself up. I can imagine the headlines now. Local hero rides bike suitless to save friend. That's one for the scrapbook. <laughs> You bet it is. I'll lie down on the edge and hold onto the railing with one hand, then try to extend the suit rope closer to you with my other hand. I'll get as close as I can. Just be ready to grab it. That sounds really risky, but if you think you can do it safely, I trust you. Look at that. Good bird. Just promise me one thing. If this works, let's never play king of the building again. You know what? I'll play catch me if you can. See you down below. What? You got me there. I thought I was going to lose you forever. The bird really saved your life. Hey, do you remember that time we had so much fun exploring the world and making memories together? Yeah, those were great times. But then we had that disagreement and we stopped talking to each other. I felt so sad and lonely without you. Me too. I realized that our friendship is precious and it's okay to make mistakes because everyone does. That's how we learn and grow, right? Absolutely. So, I decided to face my fears and talk to you again. I was scared, but I knew it was important to try. I'm so glad you did. When we talked, we shared our feelings and apologized for what happened. We learned that it's important to listen to each other and understand each other's point of view. That's true. And together, we discovered the power of forgiveness. 
By letting go of the past and embracing the present, we were able to heal our friendship and make it even stronger than before. Now, we continue our journey together, cherishing our friendship. Let's promise to always communicate, forgive, and learn from our experiences. I am so happy everything turned out fine and you're safe and sound. Don't you dare fall from a building again. That's a great idea. We'll remember that friendships are valuable, and even if we lose a friend, with courage, understanding, and forgiveness, we can mend a broken friendship and make it stronger than ever. Would it be a great idea to learn how to fly? That's not possible. Yes, you can learn to float in the air. I don't think I will be able to learn how to do that. If you think you can do a thing or think you can't do a thing, you're right. Do you get that? So believe in yourself and say to yourself, you can do it. You only need some help to learn it and some practice. So if I think I can do a thing or think I can't do a thing, in both cases I will be right. I can do it. Let's do it. Are you curious about how you can learn skydiving and maybe actually jumping out of an airplane in the future? Well, you're in luck. This indoor skydiving center offers a fantastic and safe way to experience the thrill of freefall. Let's explore the step-by-step -step process of learning to skydive indoors together. This thing is a special wind tunnel that creates a column of air strong enough to lift you off the ground, giving you the sensation of flying. Welcome to today's first training session. I will guide you through a brief training session. You'll learn about body positioning, hand signals, and safety measures while inside the wind tunnel. Pay close attention to me as your instructor, as I'll teach you these important skills. After your training, it's time to suit up. I will guide you inside and help you position yourself correctly. Once you're in the right position, the wind tunnel will start, and you'll begin to float on a cushion of air. Now it's time to have some fun. You'll get to experience the exhilaration of free fall as you float, spin, and move through the air. Boom, boom, boom. Falling into the walls. I feel sorry for him. His head must hurt. Looks like he was swimming in the air. <laughs> yes, without water, even a cow can do it better. Ah! Ah! 
Where are these guys? Never do that again. I will show you how to do it properly. Now it's time to have some fun. You'll get to experience the exhilaration of free fall as you float, spin, and move through the air. I will be with you the entire time, offering guidance and ensuring your safety. Enjoy every moment of this unique adventure. As you continue with your indoor skydiving journey, you'll become more comfortable and skilled. With practice and guidance from me, you can learn advanced techniques like flips and turns. The sky's the limit. In this magical moment, I will share a secret to soaring high and achieving amazing things, just like birds that fly freely in the sky. This secret holds the key to unlocking one's true potential. First, the secret taught that to gain confidence, you must believe in yourself. Imagine you are a bird, and to fly, you must trust your wings. In the same way, trusting your abilities helps you reach your dreams. You are special, like a rare gemstone, and it's important to love and accept yourself for who you are. Now it's my turn. Your unique talents can shine brightly in the world, making it a better place. Confidence grows with practice and experience. Picture a bird learning to fly. As it practices, it becomes better and more confident each day. Are we going to start or what? Come on, man. So, when you practice your skills, your confidence will grow too. Fear can be a challenge, but you can face it head on and transform it into courage. Good job, my friend. Imagine a brave warrior facing a scary dragon. With courage in your heart, you too can overcome any obstacle. Your thoughts can shape your world. By thinking positively and believing in your success, you'll find that your confidence grows stronger and you become unstoppable. Sometimes you might stumble and fall, like a bird learning to fly. But remember, failure is a chance to learn and grow. It makes you stronger and more confident for your next adventure. Let's go! Lastly, having friends and family who believe in you can boost your confidence. Surround yourself with positive people who encourage and support you, just like a flock of birds flying together in the sky. So, always remember to believe in yourself, embrace your uniqueness, practice your skills, face your fears with courage, think positively, learn from your failures, and surround yourself with supportive people. By doing this, you'll soar with confidence and achieve your dreams, just like the birds in the sky.
Wow, this cow is amazing. Is this cow an acrobat or what? Can I go now? Let me show the cow some moves. Watch and learn, guys. Wow. Hey, hey. He will survive. We have another tunnel. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, there are some extra things I want to teach you that will help you float in the air even better. Hey, what is this? Who ordered a green giant smelly jelly ice cream? Hey, get off me. You are the worst tasting ice cream of all time. That's no ice cream. He will mess you up. Go back in the freezer where you came from and never come out again. What an amazing day. We overcame our fear and flew like birds. We all have a unique inner spark which is sometimes hard to find. Sometimes you'll find it with a little help from somebody you trust. Hey, do you know what I realized today? What's that? I found out that those few moments when we're super happy and giggling are so important. We should really appreciate them. Yeah, I agree. It's so nice to just laugh and have a good time. We need that in our lives, don't we? Absolutely. And you know what? We shouldn't feel guilty about having fun. It's totally okay. You're right. Those moments don't come around all the time, so we should make the most of them when they do. Exactly. So let's promise to always cherish those moments and keep having fun together. Deal. Deal.